This is a historic and important event for South Carolina. This is uh, monumental of what is happening today that teachers decided to take this time out and to make their voices heard. It's amazing to see all of our hard work come together. It's, it's a little humbling. This rally is important. It's a critical first step. It's absolutely necessary. This state needs to stand up for us and give us exactly what we need because we are bending over backwards for our students and it's still not enough. We're here to, to try to make a difference and to tell our legislators that they're not doing right by us. We just need some change. We really are serious. We want to be involved. We want a seat at the table and we're not done. We're just getting started. Gathering in downtown Columbia this morning as an estimated 10,000 people rallied for educational changes. They demanded better pay, smaller class sizes, and better tools to help everyone succeed in the classroom. News 19's Alicia Niaves tells us more. There are 66,000 teachers in South Carolina. This morning, the sleeping giant awoke. Yeah! Beginning at the State Education Building. Thousands of educators raised their signs and their voices to call for change. Who would earn a $500,000 or a $50,000 degree to get a $35,000 job? Who would, people would ridicule for that. Education advocacy group SC4ED organized the rally. SC for Ed. Known as All Out May 1st. You were intimidated about coming today. You were belittled about coming today. Your own state superintendent shamed you into not coming today. From the Department of Education's headquarters to the front steps of the State House. The Sea of Red took over the streets of downtown Columbia. Yes, you have to have a calling to be a teacher, but people use that as an excuse to take advantage of us and say, that, oh, just they have a great heart. Um, and I want them to see us as educated, trained professionals, just like they are. It's part of a movement for education reform. Teachers want better salaries, more school counselors and support staff better incentives for educators, and smaller class sizes. Because inherently, we are just inundated with the belief that we need to give up and sacrifice every single thing for our students. And while we are happy to provide for our students, this state needs to stand up for us and give us exactly what we need because we are bending over backwards for our students and it's still not enough. Standing alongside their teachers were students. All my class sizes are so big that I can't get help when I need it because my teacher is always helping someone else and uh, none of us would be here without teachers. On Twitter, the hashtag All Out May 1st is lighting up with support from lawmakers nationwide, speaking out on the importance of an educated society. There are no easy answers to the challenges we face in bringing about education reform, only that we must do what is morally right for this generation and beyond. Alicia Niaves, News 19, WLTX. My future is 